What's up guys, DD Cthulhu here, back at you with another video. So, in the comments of the previous Battle Beaver Customs video, somebody asked me to do an update video, and that is exactly what this video is. So, I've had this bad boy for a couple months, the one I previously made a video on. Um, it's still in great condition. Oh, one sort of kind of complaint uh, that I have but it's borderline 50-50 fault on Battle Beaver and me, is I got the Wicked Grips on this, and there's a texture issue, and the grips are falling off. Um, that's, that's a bit crazy to me, because it specifically states that if you get any of the faceplates, like, uh, dipped or anything, that there could be a texture issue, and to not, they... Uh, pretty much insist on you not doing it so but they can't make you but they feel like it would come off due to the texture issue well this is the design that I got is the most expensive option I thought because it was more premium that it wasn't gonna have that texture issue I was wrong so if you do any of those custom designs and go with the most uh, premium option, you are going to still have a texture difference from the back of the controller to the front. And if you get this gripping, it is going to come off relatively fast. It's not that big of a deal. It will peel off and then you take rubbing alcohol and bada boom bada bing, no stickiness at that point. So I feel like that could be expressed that even the premium option you'll still have that texture issue because universally, how is someone supposed to know? Because you have a cheaper option, a middle option, a premium option. Uh, come on, you just can't make that assumption always. All right, so let it, us talk about the smart bumpers, the L2, R2, L1, R1. How are they opposed to a normal controller? Significantly better. It is night and day difference. There is no mistaking whether or not you push that trigger to shoot or whatnot. Um, throw a grenade when you're playing FPS, whatever. This is not just good for one type of game. It's good for everything. Uh, a couple days ago, I went back to a normal PlayStation 4 controller. So this bad boy. And it literally, I, I couldn't play with it. I, I just couldn't as much as I tried to because... When you go from clicking to pushing down, it's a complete difference. Uh, it, it, I don't even like it. I uh, immediately was like, after one match, oh, I can't do this. Now, let us talk about the tension on analog sticks. Um, so I have the Pro Sticks. Keep in mind, they're excellent. Um, for tension purposes, it helps so you don't, uh, when you have your sensitivity up, you don't zoom in over them or above them. It really helps. Nice middle ground. Uh, wear and tear. Um, I'm not the most gentle with the controllers, but at the same time, I'm not a maniac. I'm not whipping the controller or anything. So it's, it's great. Uh, I haven't had any issues with the analog sticks whatsoever. The directionals. The directionals, getting them separated is the best choice I could have ever made. It is so easy to call in the right streaks. When I play uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, for example, when I'm going through between the streaks, it's extremely fast, and you don't accidentally click the wrong thing when you're uh, juggling between them. So there's that. So I do use this controller, but I stopped because the tension on the sticks just weren't for me for Call of Duty. So I went ahead and got a second controller. Here's the second controller. As you can tell, I just went with the uh, Midnight Blue Steel. Um, I got the Pro Sticks on this, no tension. Got the Smart Bumpers. I also did the separated uh, directionals. Went relatively basic. Uh, this ran me around $170. Oh my goodness, I I cannot. Uh, I've used a scuff controller, I've used the Astro C40. There is no contest that Battle Beaver Customs is absolutely the best of the best. 
um, you can purchase a two-year warranty that covers normal wear and tear. These people are not stupid. If you send it in for repair and uh, it's caved in, they can tell you with the controller at the wall, the floor or something, yeah, you're going to void your warranty. They're not going to cover it. But if they can tell, hey, this person plays a lot, it's got average wear and tear, and the analog sticks need to be replaced and stuff, they got you. So, big ups to you, Battle Beaver Customs. I, I love your products. I really do. Um, these controllers are the best of the best. The wear and tear is just not there. Uh, even with me playing a lot, putting a lot of hours on these, there's just no wear and tear. Um, I also love the fact that I can just put this bad boy in and out of the case whenever I want, when I'm not using it. So, there you have it. Uh, that is the update for the two uh, Battle Beaver Customs controllers. Now, obviously, these are not ex uh, cheap controllers, but at the same time, uh, if you go with what I did with the uh, newer one I got, 175 ish that's not bad because a lot of the scuff controllers are well over $200 and the Astro C40 is $199.99 if you don't get it on sale so the call is yours my personal uh, recommendation is going to be Battle Beaver um, I don't feel like I'm being biased because I tried the other products prior to making the first video and this one but yeah so on a side note um the last video i know i was holding the controller in the air the entire time instead of doing it on the table there was a reason i didn't have a really nice setup like i do now but now i have the whole setup uh i have upgraded from recording on the console itself only to on the uh computer uh through the Elgato HD 60S. So you can't go wrong. Real quick, I wanted to go over the specs of my PC. If any of you are curious, because obviously you see it lighting up in the background, it is running a GeoForce GTX 1660. Um, the cores are AMD Ryzen 7 2700X 8 core processor. I have 16 gigs of RAM. And I run 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz. Uh, that's what this monitor's currently running at. Because I'm, I'm not doing PC gaming, but the quality is absolutely amazing um, I'm, when I'm doing my gaming videos. And also, I'm on Twitch as well at YT underscore DD Cthulhu. So if you guys want to catch me when I'm live, if you guys want to catch further videos... Subscribe, smash that like button. I hope this was informative to you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, whether it's about shipping, warranty, pricing, uh, specs, what you should and shouldn't get based off of what player you are, if you tell me what kind of player you are and what kind of needs you have, I can definitely walk you through what you do and don't want to do with your controller. Um... Keep in mind, when you get your controller from Battle Beaver, you can always upgrade it. You have to pay for shipping, and you have to pay for the upgrade you want, but they will upgrade it instead of you buying a whole other controller like myself. I just didn't want to go through all that, and I really wanted a second controller. These are just so nice. I love them. Um, the price is just right. I definitely foresee this company staying around for a very long time, especially because they stand behind their products. And it's not like, a, oh, well, when something goes wrong, they will be like, okay, we need to get this in. Is it under warranty? We'll fix it right away and get it back to you. Uh, awesome. So it's typically around three months of shipping. But uh, it was three months for this one. And it was around two months for this one. So they are definitely still kicking it, even with the pandemic going on. So big ups to you. Battle Beaver, uh, through everything that's going on, nothing but love. All right, guys, till next time, peace.